This recent assault on a 13-year-old Asian boy and his father caused a huge protest in Brooklyn. Let's talk about it. Yeah, I mean, this went viral about a week ago. There have been some new developments since. Let's run the clips. Hundreds of parents demanding justice this evening. Horrified by this video showing a 24-year-old man beating a 13-year-old Chinese boy outside his Diker Heights Middle School on September 28th. But it really struck the raw nerve on that WeChat, an adult beating up a young child. And I think this is beyond bullying. Law enforcement sources say the conflict began with a schoolyard basketball game outside IS-201 after school hours. Two 13-year-old boys tried to break up a fight and ended up getting deeper in it. A 24-year-old uncle then showed up, and that's when police say the violence began in earnest. And the two 13-year-olds trying to make peace got beaten by a grown man. This largely Chinese community now enraged. <laughs> Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Hear Me Out. So I got this from my boy Asian with the Attitude page saying today, Wednesday in Brooklyn, New York on 3rd Avenue and 39th Street at 5 p.m. There will be a rally about the Asian family who got attacked. As you can see, there has been a crazy sequence of events. Um, obviously, from the first time this 24-year-old uncle attacked the 13-year-old boy at the basketball courts to attacking him and his father at the house leading to this gigantic protest in Brooklyn of hundreds of families, mostly who are Chinese, who are asking the police, why is the father being charged when it clearly was just in self-defense? Yeah, well, let's talk about it, guys. Uh, we're going to try to break down the situation a lot of, and uh, what a lot of people are saying and if there's any you know solutions to this type of thing because it just seems to keep happening. So please hit that like button uh, and check out other episodes of the Hop Hop Boys. I, I guess like... David, are the details kind of confusing in this case? Is that why? Yeah, it, I think it's hard to follow. So obviously, if you're not somebody who's spending a lot of time and you're looking into the details, because you're like, wait, there's a video of this guy, Hassan Saab, actually beating up the kid in a red sweater, but it's unclear which, which time that was. And like, there's these videos that the dad got hit on the ground. His dad's uh -huh. head got stitches is split open. The kid got beat up pretty bad twice. Yeah, uh, I mean, to just kind of summarize, I guess, as quickly as I can, uh, the altercation starts at a basketball court. Two 13-year-old kids go in to try to break up the fight. That's their intention. They end up involved in the fight. Then a 24-year-old adult uncle, who is clearly the bigger person in all this, he comes in, beats up the 13-year-old Chinese kid, okay? And then the police are called, but then by the time the police arrive, nobody's there, right? Because the altercation's over, right? The fight is over. Classic basketball playground fight. Oh, my gosh. I mean, this kid did get beat up pretty bad. So, obviously, there. I don't know what the 13-year-old kid did to deserve this. It sounds... Uh, insane. But anyways, then two days later, so two days after this whole thing is done, they show up at the house of the Asian family. They find the address, they figure it out, and they go there to threaten them with weapons. And then the Asian family comes out to defend themselves. The father comes out with a shovel. They get into all a fight. And then the police come to there. And then they arrest Hassan Saab, which is the attacker. And then the father, okay? And I understand why you arrest everybody because they have weapons, right? But the big thing that's controversial is that the Asian father is being charged right now. Right, the charges against the father haven't been dropped yet, now, right? The charges might get dropped when people realize it's self-defense, but everybody's mad that there's charges on the father when he just seems like self-defense. So I guess that's as, as detailed as we know it, right? Right, right, right. And I guess the protest is from the families in Brooklyn that are like basically saying, why does the father still have charges, right? Right. When all the video evidence is there, I believe there's like four to five different cameras Pretty much spelling out the case for the police, right? Yeah. I'm not saying I know 100 out of 100. I wasn't there. I don't know anybody close to the case. But, like, it sure seems like the answer is obvious. Yeah, yeah. It seems like the answer is pretty obvious. I mean, some people speculate that this Hassan Saab guy has, uh, like, is well-connected. So that's why it's it doesn't seem as bad. Or that's why they have to arrest and charge the Asian father right now. I mean, dude, if the Asian father gets charged and convicted of, like, assault it seems crazy because what is that what kind of message are you sending to the community where it's like people can come to your house you can defend yourself as an asian and then you're still gonna get in trouble for it yeah i just have some quick thoughts here i don't think just judging from what i can tell and from what i've heard 
that this Hassan Saab guy is like a thug or anything like this. This guy is not a gangster, but you know what the messed up thing is, Andrew? A lot of times people, they have these like GTA or, you know, whether it's them wanting to live out their gangster fantasies in their mind, they want to project that onto somebody they feel like there's no consequences mm. projecting it on. Basically like gta life on an NPC. And oftentimes, it's crazy that Asians get slotted in that MPC role. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying, there's a lot of people in New York City that Hassan Saab would have not even thought about this at all doing they, it. Like, he, he wouldn't even have considered it. Exactly, it's, man. It's a pecking order, right? And let me just tell you the charges that he's being charged with. He's only getting charged with two counts. One, assault. And then one, which is a misdemeanor acting injurious to a child. I think he should get charged on two accounts for assault because he assaulted the 13-year-old boy first, clearly beat him up, clearly hurt him physically, and then two days later fought his father. And, that, which, and those are both which, on video, and there might even be a third incident that's not on video. Yeah, there should be multiple accounts of assault, you know? So it just seems like what is going on here? Do Asians have representation? Are we getting shafted again? Are our politicians going to be able to make it happen? And that's why there was a protest. And there was a lot of discussion too of like how much self-responsibility does the community have as well? So guys, we're going to get into all these things. I mean, obviously the community showing up and protesting, that was reactive. Being reactive is not bad, right? No, that's helpful. I think the protest was helpful. They had a town hall meeting and I think all the parents that, you know, uh, uh, and the community that organized themselves via social media, I thought it was important. It's good. It That's not going to solve everything, but at least it shows how much people care. Right. Because people are sick of the infrastructure, the public infrastructure, even not treating it fair because it clearly shows that one side was the aggressor, one side mm -hmm. was the defender, but they're almost getting charged quasi equally. Um, how much of it and this is a deeper discussion, right? And some people don't want to hear this right now in this moment. How much is it that the community needs to be more proactive? Well, I guess what does proactive mean? Because it seems like protesting is proactive. No, but, but it's proactive, but it's reactive after the fact, I, right? I guess in the comment section, what are a lot of people saying? Because obviously you have the comment section filled with a lot of people leaving comments. They may or may not know all the details. They may or may not live in New York. A lot of the right, comments right, are right, right. From It's difficult to explain everything from Asians from Texas saying, man, I got castle doctoring. You come assault my kid. You're a dead man. Right, right, right. right. From that all That's the way right. to like... Oh, we, uh, you know, and I understand this perspective too, but it's not fully applicable. You know, Southeast Asians on the West Coast saying, you know, how we grew up, we got tested all the time. We're not going for this. Right, right, Like right. those, those guys, something else is coming to those guys. Uh -huh. But then, of course, it always, you know, sort of ends up in this classic thing. Like, why does it always seem like Chinese, in particular of all the Asians, want to have a more, more passive or docile response to confrontation? You mean like how... There's not a bunch of people that are going to go, like, attack that home of Hassan Saab, which there are actually— Not that they should, either, Yeah, by not the way. that they should, but there actually is police protection outside of the house, at least uh, last time I heard, right now, because there was a protest. So, so any times there's a public uproar, uh, you know, it's your obligation to but, have uh, But I guess right. I'm saying is, like, how much is it on uh, Asians themselves or the Chinese community, especially in New York, to, to be tougher, be more street smart, or just knowing, knowing how to navigate these— very street mentality yeah. confrontations that come towards them better. Listen, I would say this in, I guess in this particular situation, knowing what I know that like, you know, just if the 13 year old boy just knew more martial arts, I don't think that's going to change that much in this case because he's fighting a full on adult, aggressive, larger, mean adult. Okay. Which is crazy that a 24 year old feels like they want to step in into some kids Dude, that are 12. This like, 13 year old kid definitely does not look like the provoker. I'm just saying like, it doesn't, it, uh, there's no evidence to, to cause that. But yeah, I mean, I mean, should there be an Asian mob? You know what I mean? Like that's what people are at. Like emotionally, that's what a lot of people are asking, right? Cause they're like, I wish there was like the Asian mafia, you could activate them. And then they would go like do something to that house. At least like, at least send a message or something, you know, like vandalize it, throw a brick through the window or something. You know what I mean? Like, that's like a lot of people's thoughts running through their brain right now. Well, that's, it, it's a train of thought, but it's actually not the right way that a civil society works, to be honest. And it's not how you obviously navigate something like Democrat, uh, you know, diplomatically right. or bureaucratically. Right. But, but, but it just goes the, to show you there's how There's some sense of like, like, like the Asians are not understanding like the primal 
raw, unfortunate, ugly side of human nature as well, right? Yeah, you just feel like you're getting uh, taken advantage of and you're just sick of it. Anyway, let's get into the comments section. Somebody said, absolutely self-defense. Is this the new America where we do not have the right to defend ourselves when someone comes and invades our home or is it because we are Asian? Dude, it is insane to me that he came back two days later. First of all, already insane that you beat up a 13-year-old, but two days later, you're still thinking about it? Like sitting on it, be like, yeah, I beat up that 13-year-old. I want more. I'm gonna go threaten his family. I'm like, dude, you are crazy. Like you're in, like he needs to really be convicted for just even having those thoughts. For sure. I mean, I would say the one aspect that is impacted by being Asian is the fact that it's taking so long to drop the charges on the father. Yeah. I think that that is it because yeah. obviously it's unfair. There's probably like, you know what I mean? Like different groups have different powers and different families are more or less connected. And let's be honest. I think the Asian families, even though they may have some savings in the bank, they're the least uh, socially connected or right. politically connected. Right, right, right. Um, somebody said the Chinese mafia will take care of that. Someone said, no, not the modern one, maybe the old school one from like 50 years ago or 60 years ago. And someone said, quit watching movies and hoping others will take care of it. Yeah. It is all on yourself. I mean, you have to understand, listen, like back in the day in the 50s or 60s or 70s when there was a super tight-knit Chinese community, there was things like your Asian Chinese mafia that may, may, I can't even speak for them and say that they would have handled something like this, but possibly, right? Well, well they, the yeah, they, yeah. amongst other things that also would have been pro, uh, I guess that's the pro side. There would have been a con. Right. There was cons of having them in the community too. Right, right, right. right. But I guess I'm, what I'm saying, my point is that back then the community was a lot smaller and tight knit, right? Where you would handle those issues in the community. But now, I mean, what is the community like? There's mil there's like a million Chinese people in New York City. Are they all part of the community? You know what I mean? Right, so right, right. that comment is just like, it's a little like- It's it a is little funny that, that, what, that response did kind of make me laugh. Like, Stop. quit watching so many movies. Yeah. Because it's just, it's not like that anymore. You can't think I mean, things that's are like 60 like, years ago. That's Those like, days are long gone. That's like, like hoping one John Rambo is going to run through and like save the day for everybody. It just doesn't work like that. Somebody said, if Asians don't come together and unite, they'll pick you apart one by one. And um, here's the truth, man. It really depends on what fishbowl in America you live in. If you live in a hood, and it's weird to say this, but like New York is very interesting because some of the price, prices of the houses could not be hood at all, but some of the social dynamics right on the sidewalk it might more operate like a hood. You're saying that the hood dynamics... Like the property prices don't reflect necessarily the street dynamics. Like, mm. whereas in other... Generally, there's more of a correlation between yeah, yeah. like the number and like the, the attitude and the vibe. Yeah, America's shit. interesting like that. Yeah. I mean, um, ultimately, Andrew, we could get into literally like 10, 20, 30,000 comments. Some people are saying this. Some people are saying that. Obviously, most of the comments, vast majority supporting the Asian family. For sure. But in different ways. Right. And some people are like blaming them more. Some people are blaming them less. Some people are blaming the system. Ultimately, what do you think are the major solutions here uh, that, that are realistic, right? Because everybody's going to take different solutions for them and their family. Obviously, one of them is Asians voting and becoming more politically involved. For example, yeah. if Asians voted more, and I guess they were more politically involved, I would venture to say that, that the uh, charges against... Uh, the father right now would be dropped already. Well, somebody, there would be more higher up Asians to be able to drop those. I mean, believe me, there are Asians involved in politics out in Brooklyn and in New York City in general. And uh, I I know some of the politics. I feel like that they're going to try and do what they can. And I, if you made me put money down, I don't think the Asian father ends up getting convicted of the charges. I think the charges are dropped. But... The fact that he even has the charges on him right now are are interesting. Um, what do you think about somebody? Other people have come through and suggested that you know Asians they got to teach their kids to maintain low body fat percentage, lift, train martial arts. You know, it's very like Joe Rogany, Navy yeah, Sealy. Yeah, it's yeah. at least how it sounds, but uh, it's also not a ridiculous thing to say. No, I it's mean, not a ridiculous ask at all. Yeah, I mean, listen, it doesn't no amount of training makes you bulletproof or weaponproof or bat proof or whatever it is, but I think maybe that type of training can help you, you know, and just be more aware and just, you know, I don't know exactly what happens still. Like how does a one basketball fight and then the 13-year-old tries to break it up and then he becomes the worst victim of it all? This it sounds crazy, but so I think like just knowing when 
you should get involved and you should not get involved. Right. You know? So you're saying some sort of conflict resolution or even situational yeah. awareness beyond actual yeah. technical and, martial and arts. And these training. are just solutions fit, oh, pointing at the Asians themselves, like what they can do, right? But we could also point, initially, you're going to point at the, 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 the uncle, the 24-year-old uncle who did the attacking. Like, that guy needs to be thrown in jail, like, yeah, immediately. He's a bad person. Yeah, he needs to be thrown in jail immediately. That's crazy. Um, what do you think about just moving to a really nice Asian suburb where you are just not going to be exposed? You know, I mean, you're, like, leveraging your assets to move to an area where you're not going to be exposed to any sort of street I mean, mentality. Dude, you can't escape everything. I don't think you can escape danger because I'm sure that maybe they were living a good life out there in what Bay Ridge, Bensonhurst. Like, you know, they like it out there. There is a good Chinese community, but there is also, um, you know, it's not the most like friendliest place as far as mixing either. So I mean, I Brooklyn, think, man, it's like, yeah, it's a little, it's a little rough. So I think that just saying move is like, yeah, that's lower on the, on, on the priority list, but definitely it's, it's like a thought. Right. Um, what do you think about this unfortunate, like, pecking order in the streets where it's almost like this guy, I'm just Hassan Saab or whatever, he, he's not even, like, running the streets like Frank Lucas, but he feels like he could be, you know, above yeah. whoever he's beating up. I mean, up. like, you know, I think anybody who's familiar with, like, gangster culture knows that, like, the real gangsters would not ever get involved in something like this, you know? Not saying that they're necessarily good either, but I'm just saying, like, they would not mess with some 13-year-old boy like this. Like, this is not... No, this guy... This is a guy acting out his inner thoughts yeah. or his fantasies on what his, he viewed was, like, a uh, like a non-important target. His, like. his inner, like, toxic, masculine, like, violent fantasies... And he's taking it out on this Asian family, which is crazy. And, uh, yeah, I just can't believe so much time passed two days later and you still want to do it, man. Like, how crazy do you have to be? So, uh, yeah, I mean, overall, guys, there's so much to be said. I think that um, there's the simple answer. Some people are like, oh, get a firearm, but it's hard in New York. And, you know, maybe and it's crazy don't, that the people don't want to shoot each other. From that. I, I yeah, do people not, don't want to shoot not. each other. Like, come on, guys. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, it definitely makes you wonder, like, what else can be done? I'm just saying this. If he were to ever get charged, I don't think he will. I'm going to donate to uh, Ting, uh, Ting Duolays. That's the father's name, his defense fund. But, uh, yeah, just raises some questions. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Keep it civil. Until next time, we're going to hop out, boys. We out. Peace. Peace.